Yankees, are you kidding me? Hey guys, I hope you're having a wonderful day today. If you love the Yankees but you're not subscribed, be sure to subscribe, especially if you want to be kept up to date with the latest in New York Yankees news or just for plain old New York Yankees discussion. Yankees, are you kidding me? And this isn't a derogatory, a negative, are you kidding me? This is a shocked, a happy, positive, are you kidding me? The New York Yankees went into Houston. I did not anticipate them sweeping Houston. Of course, I wanted them to, but they, I, did not, I did not say or predict, hey, we're going to go into Houston and we're going to sweep the Astros. But what did they do? They swept the Astros. We're guaranteed to go into our home opener on Friday with an above 500 record. Guaranteed now. But 4-0, you couldn't ask for a better start than this. You could not ask for a better start than this. Let's talk about Juan Soto and the impact that this guy has in this lineup. Juan Soto went 9 for 17. Comes out to a 529 batting average. A 1365 OPS. A home run and a four RBI. What this guy's able to do up at the plate, come up with a timely hit after timely hit after timely hit. Able to work counts like no other. This is going to be a very special year for Juan Soto. In my opinion, Juan Soto, without him, the Yankees probably lose 3 of 4 without Juan Soto in this lineup. But with him and his, his contributions defensively, no one would have thought that. No one would have predicted that, that Juan Soto would have helped us win a game by throwing out a runner at home. Nobody would have predicted that, but that's what happened. Juan Soto with a tremendous start to his New York Yankee career. Hopefully, this is a sign of things to come. I love watching him play. I'm happy he's in pinstripes. Juan, thank you. Anthony Volpe. Obviously, he missed game four. A little upset belly. That's okay. Anthony Volpe has shown signs of just tremendous, tremendous improvement. Overall in the series, first three games, Anthony Volpe went four for 10, worked four walks, had a 1371 OPS. Uh, This guy, this is the, the difference between this year and last year. You have a player like Anthony Volpe who is maturing, who is just taking, just looks completely different from last year. And that comes with growing as a ball player and developing as a ball player. And Anthony Volpe is just taking such a different approach right now. It's it's tremendous. Last season, remember, last year, that was his development year. That was Anthony Volpe's AAA season, but he spent it up here in the major leagues. He stole 20-some-odd bases, hit you 21 home runs. He showed you some signs, hey, I could be an impact player in this lineup. Obviously, he won the gold glove but that's on the defensive side. Anthony Volpe, I think he's going to have a tremendous season offensively. Tremendous. He just looks different. Last year, he he hit you 21 home runs. This year, I'm predicting Anthony Volpe is going to hit 30. It's just going to happen. He's not going to try to do it. It's just going to happen. If it doesn't, I apologize, but he already has a home run this year. God bless him. That's awesome. Oswaldo Cabrera. Let's talk about him. Nobody would have thought that he would have this phenomenal, fantastic opening weekend. 
Game four, he slowed down a little bit, but that's okay. Overall, seven for 16, 438 batting average with the 1346 OPS. Two home runs. He had the most total bases with 14. 14 total bases for Oswaldo Cabrera. Imagine Oswaldo. Imagine him just having a, a breakout, a, a crazy year. Uh, he could. He looks good. And he's, he's a great kid. He's a great guy. Uh, just what you see with how he presents himself and how he talks to others. Very respectful. It, it, I'm so happy that he had such a great opening weekend. And he's going to make the Yankees' decision when DJ LeMay, he was due back eventually. If Oswaldo, I'm not saying he's going to keep up this batting average, but let's say he's hitting 280 and he has some seven, eight home runs by the time LeMay, he comes back. Are you really going to bench Oswaldo? Absolutely not. I can answer that one for you. Absolutely not. But Oswaldo, great opening weekend. Job well done. And Anthony Rizzo. Four for 15, 267 batting average, worked a couple of walks. Rizzo, did he have a great weekend? Not the greatest, but not the worst. If he's healthy, he's going to have a presence and an impact in that lineup. He's going to hit you 25, 30 home runs. If he's healthy and just him being in the lineup, Aaron Judge being in the lineup, John Carlo being in the lineup. Just their sheer presence makes this lineup better. And talking about Aaron Judge, Aaron Judge, what happens when he takes off? What happens when Aaron Judge, obviously, it had a two for 16 weekend. But what happens when Aaron Judge starts tearing the cover off the ball? Right? So if Juan Soto slows down, Aaron Judge picks up. <laughs> Guys, this could be one heck of a year. That's what you want. You don't want all these guys getting hot at the same time. It's nice that Juan Soto is hot right now and Aaron Judge has kind of started off slow. Because when Juan Soto starts to cool off, maybe Judge starts to heat up. That's a good problem to have. Baseball, it's a very streaky sport. We all know this but you don't want all of your guys being hot at the same time. And Aaron Judge is going to be a guy who's going to get hot very soon. Giancarlo Stanton, he didn't look bad. Struck out six times, okay. Three for 14. Yes, the one single was a little, uh, really wasn't a single. I wouldn't really call it that, but hit a home run, hit another single, hit a missile to left field. Giancarlo's three for 14 weekend. Also having a home run, what you needed to see out of him. I have big hopes for him this season. And I hope that he doesn't sit all that much. You need to get him going. Aaron Boone sitting Giancarlo made me want to pull my beard hair out. Can't say the hair on top of my head. Made me want to pull my beard hair out because the day before Giancarlo hit a home run, then he benches him. When this guy gets hot, he gets hot. So any chance that you could get this guy going, you leave him in there. And when Giancarlo gets going, he's one of the best hitters in Major League Baseball. Look at the end of 2022. Right? 22 or 2020? No, not 22. 21. Look at the end of 21. He was tremendous. Glaber Torres had a rough week, a weekend, but 2 for 15, worked four walks. He worked four walks. Verdugo puts the bat in the ball. He didn't do that bad. He played, a, he played a solid left field. We didn't have that all year last season. <laughs> yeah, freaking Oswaldo, our best left fielder. He's not even an outfielder. And then the pitching. The pitching. Nestor having a rough first inning. Gave up a home run in the second inning. Then he buckled down. And the rest of the way, he was good. That's what you needed to see out of Nestor. Rodon, four and a third, threw a lot of pitches. He labored a lot, but he gave up one run. Great sign for him. You just don't want to see him laboring as much. Marcus Stroman, six innings, no earned runs. Three unearned, no earned runs. Another good start. Clark Schmidt. Now, I was a little upset when Mr. Aaron Boone took him out of the game. I was, I was a little mad. 
I was like, 75 pitches. Leave him in. It's his game to lose, Boone. It's his game to lose. What did Boone do? Takes him out. Lasagna. Lasagna gave up a couple of runs. That were Schmitz, by the way. So Schmidt already had base runners. On. Just try to let him finish. Only at set 75 pitches. It's not like he was at, you know, 95. He had 75 pitches. Why did you take out Clark? That's one of the things that kind of grinded my gears a bit. But hey, Aaron Boone overall, overall had a good series. He managed well. He had a good series. Hopefully this is a sign of things to come this year. But guys, Yankees sweeping the Astros. Are you kidding me, Yankees? I did not anticipate that. I'm happy they did. Yankees now going to Arizona. Hopefully we play them well. So listen, guys, thank you so much for watching. We have channel memberships in the description if that interests you. This is Joe, and until next time, signing out. <laughs>